the best of sports, here's Charles Aruka. Thank you, Millicent, and welcome to Sports News. Rangers International of Enugu staged the most remarkable comeback to clinch this year's ITO Cup after they fought from 3-0 down to win a penalty shootout 4-2 against Kano Pillars. The Pillars looked like they were cruising to their first ever Cup triumph when they led 3-0 by the 76th minute. However, Kevin Itoya's creamer from the top of the box beat goalkeeper David Obioso for Rangers to get a glimmer of hope. The Flying Antelopes made the game even more interesting in the 82nd minute when Chidera Eze made it 3-2. In added time, substitute Ajani Ibrahim's brave diving header restored parity for Rangers at 3-3. And Isaac Lote completed the Rangers' comeback and he put away the decisive penalty. Rangers will thus represent Nigeria in next year's CAF Confederations Cup and also pocket a cash prize of 25 million naira. For Kanu Pillars, that is uh, Jimo Ismaila. He goes for the run up and it is saved by Nano Bonsu. It's a penalty. How does Lute play? Is it Rangers for the title? Yes, the Rangers are champions of the ITO Cup for 2018. Rangers have won the ITO Cup. Seeds here, Rangers International, champions. Rangers International, they are the champions of the ITO Cup. Congratulations to the comeback kings. And now to Intercontinentals. Engimba have crashed out of the CAF Confederations Cup after losing 2-1 to host Raja Casablanca of Morocco. A blunder by defender Isiaka Oladuntoye gifted Raja in the dying moments of the first half. Oladun Toye then put the ball into his own net in the dying minutes, but substitute Abdul Rahman Bashir grabbed a consolation goal for the Abba Elephants. The Moroccans will face AS Vita of Congo DR in the final. Over in Europe, Monaco earned the first point of their disappointing campaign in their first European outing under Thierry Henry after a one-all draw at Club Bruges. Hadon Sancho scored his first ever Champions League goal as Borussia Dortmund scored four to emphatically put away Atletico Madrid. Tottenham goalkeeper Hugo Lloris was sent off for a moment of madness before Luke de Jong's 87th minute equaliser denied them victory over PSV Eindhoven. Barcelona, missing talisman Lionel Messi, beat Inter Milan 2-0 to take control of Group B. Mohamed Salah scored twice to reach a half century of Liverpool goals in a comfortable victory over Red Star Belgrade. And Angel de Maria curled in a stoppage time equaliser as Paris Saint Germain twice came from behind to force a 2 2 draw at home to Napoli. In tennis, Angelique Kerber produced a stunning display of defensive tennis to see of the big hitting Naomi Osaka 6 4 5 7 6 4 in a classic red group encounter between the last two Grand Slam champions at the WTA Finals. The victory evens up Kerber's record at 1-1 in round-robin play as Osaka slumped to a second straight defeat at the season-ending event, leaving the US Open champion on the brink of elimination from the eight-woman tournament. Osaka finished the match with 50 unforced errors and 42 winners, while Kerber, who had 30 unforced errors and 24 winners. It's game set and match on sports news and back to Millicent with the rest of the news at 10. The U.S. Secret Service says suspected explosive devices have been sent to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and former U.S. President Barack Obama. Well, this comes two days after a bomb was found at the home of liberal philanthropist and financier George Soros in the suburbs of New York City. The devices were discovered... Um, by technicians who screen mail sent to the former U.S. official is not immediately clear. But President Donald Trump, in his reaction, said that he had been briefed by the FBI, Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, and the U.S. Secret Service. He offered an assurance that the packages are being inspected by top explosive experts and a major federal investigation is underway. 
safety of the American people is my highest and absolute priority. I have just concluded a briefing with the FBI, Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, and the U.S. Secret Service. As we speak, the packages are being inspected by top explosive experts, and a major federal investigation is now underway. The full weight of our government is being deployed to conduct this investigation and bring those responsible for these despicable acts to justice. U.S. President Donald Trump and the main news again. The federal government today announced a projection of 8.73 trillion naira for the 2019 budget, just as the Federal Executive Council approved the 2019 to 2021 medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. That's the news at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Wonka. Have a good night.